I was watching for whatever reason I was watching um Kino Casino and they were playing a clip from the Dick Show and it took me by surprise because number one it was actually funny and number two I hadn't seen it before uh, as it turns out in the in the forum the number of people who watch the Dick Show is so low that we don't have people hate watching anymore. We have nobody who actually watches the Dick Show and clips it. Nobody, and especially not the biggest problem in the universe where it's Dick and Beto. Like nobody can even stand listening to it just so they can try to find something funny. Cause the number of times where something funny happens and like it's worth sharing as it's like funny bad almost never happens it's like with the um the maddox podcast that he tried to create called like the biggest the greatest debate in the universe or some shit <clears throat> it just it didn't have any meat to it whatsoever it was like fake la comedian like ha 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 yuck like absolutely everything all the time without without pause or hesitation so when tpp started playing this clip i don't know who the fuck he got it from i don't know who was listening to the dick show and clipping shit like this but it was a um it was close to like an actual fight between dick and Vito, and it was really really funny um it's 14 minutes long and i'm going to play the entire thing because the tension is so is so strong you could literally like you know, literally you could figuratively cut it with a knife because it is uh like they're it's 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 funny because you can tell they actually want to slit each other's throats throughout this video and um they have to pretend like that, that they're both in on the joke and they're both laughing because it's funny like circumstantially and not they're laughing to cover the fact that they are like 30 seconds from taking out a knife and gutting each other so uh here we have the biggest problem in the universe, episode 106, I want to say. Uh, there are like eight people in this room, and because Dick the Masterson, a.k.a. Dex, or uh, a.k.a. Juju the Cow, lives in a Hollywood Barbie doll mansion, um, these six people cannot fit into his studio. They basically have to sit on each other's laps. Uh, there is one guy, I think it's the this guy, the um, the one who is white... Yeah, that works. The one who is white is called Tom from Hack the Movies? Question mark. And he's somebody who is actually experienced in Hollywood and he knows things about pitches and production crews and shit like this. Um, so I've set this. Andy Signor, sorry. Andy Signor, Signor, is the white man in this. Um, and I'll just let the clip speak for itself because it's long enough as it is. Still engaging in it. So. The best relationships are based on deception. Yeah, anyway, what's your problem? My you? problem? Well, I had a couple different ones. I don't know. You got to fucking pick one, don't I know you? I got to pick your show? one. Damn, How does he dude, know he's rules? unprepared. He gets okay, carried away, yelling up. at me, not running yeah. the street. Well, because next that. week is the live show. I want to save my good problem. This fucking, this fucking guy. Oh, so you don't actually give your nose your oh, best yeah. problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, so then pick the bad right, one. So we're, we're the, let's hear the bad one. Yeah, hear the bad one. This he's going to do. He's pretending he's thinking about it. In a recent survey of more than 1,000 motorists, 14% percent reported having an accident or near miss this is a family feud because setup? they were distracted by a backseat driver this is My the bad problem one problem is a backseat why would you not drivers. give them the good problem because we're drivers. gonna go through it quick we still gotta do lewis's problem and steph's why problem. would you not give the good the best problem though why are you giving it for the live show? show. And for the you're live show. Acknowledged you're like, it. you're I'm obsessed with like live show. There's going to be 50 Dude, people at the fucking live show. It's going to be chaos. It. First we buy you Portos and you're not paying for the tickets. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's unfucking believable with this guy. Can we go on to my problem? It's not a bad Who problem. Who cares about Hold Vito's back backseat driving? Yeah, it's not a bad problem. It's not a bad problem. It's not a Everybody hates backseat drivers. It's still a good problem. Do we have like a, a button problem. where we can just say no? So this is like the main issue with his podcast. Like literally the thing. I remember there was a. If someone has this clip, please find it. There is a thing where I remember Dick was on like the Ralph Retort or some other show. 
And I remember very vividly him saying the words, it's important when you do a po comedy podcast not to laugh at everything. Don't laugh at your own jokes. He said something very similar to that. And that was like one of his diehard rules. Don't laugh at your own jokes. The jokes should be funny. You don't need constant laughter to tell people that what your that your joke is funny. You don't. If it's a funny joke, you don't need to do that. And that is like the defining feature of his fucking shows, both of them, is that there is this constant force yuck, 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 at everything. And the more people on the fucking show, the more fake laughter there is. Like you have six people in this room. One of them is Sean, who is like quiet all the time, unless he's spoken to. But everybody else will laugh at constantly everything, except this woman down here. Uh, this woman is Scottish. Uh, she is treated like shit the entire podcast. And you can really tell at certain times that she does not want to be in this room stuck, like literally sitting in Vito's lap at any point in time. <laughs> I hate you guys. 51%. I think you pissed okay, out so on your problem. I think you pissed out. Do you want to do it? You, you told want... me what it was and you pissed out. That's what, what I you? think. All right, let's do it. Fine. See, my I was right. Fuck you. My problem <laughs> is uh, when you do a project and you personally do all the work, and the other person, you know, just kind of half-asses it. Mm. Is that is is he that talking about you? What would that, pro what would who's, that problem that be called? The problem would be... Group uh, projects. Well, you group, call it dick. Group projects. Yeah. Perfect group idea. Group projects with dick. You know, not, <laughs> not necessarily with dick, but let's say, you know, that there's a very important project maybe it's for a class yeah maybe it's this a is business good problem. This is I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give you a resentment meter you tell me hold up your hand for a resentment meter and when it gets when you sense more resentment go to the more and when you sense less resentment go to the and less okay um aside can somebody who is an audio expert like with really autistic ears because i have really autistic ears but i don't know audio stuff expertly what is the deal with Dick's microphone? Is it just that they're in a really closed space and he has multiple mics? Because I swear there's like, it feels like there's like a brief delay and you hear him twice. It, I don't know. It just feels like his mic is fucked with in such a way where he has like this elevated presence and it's extremely difficult to describe. But if you know what the fuck is happening and what I'm talking about, let me know. A lot riding on this project. If the project is good, you're going to pass the class. You're going to get the big, you know, business presentation. You're going to get a raise, whatever else. You really got to give it your all. So you're there giving it your all. He's yelling so much it's picking up on other mics. That's what I thought. And I remember when he yelled at Maddox because Maddox was losing his voice at some point. And he told Maddox, stop yelling. Adjust your gain so that you're not speaking so loud. You shouldn't you shouldn't be hurting your throat to do your podcast. And I, I swear that he's just yelling so loud that all the other microphones in the room are picking it up. And there's like a brief delay. Oh, and then let's imagine there's another kid named like Sanchez or I don't know, something like that. Master. He's just. Yeah, just call him. Just say it's me. <laughs> I know this problem is about me. Jorge, and he's just dicking around, mm -hmm. twiddling his thumbs, yeah. and you're calling him up, and you're going, hey, man, I had some Calling cool him up obsessively <laughs> every day. Every day. Calling him up going, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. When we're in the pit, should I, I say can't. this? Should I say this? Should I hold two glasses? Is it normal to That's hold two glasses? Though. This is normal to hold two glasses. Wait. It's because he cups his microphone when he's up close. Okay, I'm going to try it. Does this do it? Do I have that echo thing that he does? Oh, my God. I can't believe Vito would say that. That's ridiculous. Oh, my God. How about you? Sanchez, what kind of name is that? Does that work? Is that is that the effect? Let me know. Glasses, Are they right? going to sue us? <laughs> Are they going to sue us? I don't know. That's what should a I say? Problem. Lawsuit insurance. Where do I get it? That's a different related <laughs> thing. I'm just saying the big, exciting get, opportunity... <laughs> And I'm there, and I'm like, well, let's, you know, really give it you know, all. And I'm there. And I'm calling. And Dick's what? And what's Dick doing? Just I'm calling. Half assing it. Half assing it. Whose manager set up those meetings? Well, your, your manager. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, mean, I okay. Like think he's right. kind of both of our managers at you're this wrong. point. You know? <laughs> I'm good friends with that. It gets better. Okay, yes. It's This is like insufferable L.A. podcast bro shit. Wait for it. The resentment is building. There is another 10 minutes left to this, and there's a reason for that. That guy is well. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're not friends. <laughs> First off, we are not friends. Awesome, love it. Randy is. Uh, am I allowed to say? Let's let's be clear that the guys that the, Vito has known him for several years at this point. We are not friends.
<laughs> Regardless, we get a bar. Are you? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just say that there was a big. I can't believe this is happening. Hollywood pitch meeting. Where, this is you know, why the show's not. The, the you know what? This show might not make it to 108. Well, Go but ahead. the reason it might not make it to 108 is because one again, guy is me. putting in it's the work. Again, me again. One guy is putting he's, in the work. He's like, he's like. I didn't even notice. I've watched this. Like, I've listened to this while doing other shit. I'm watching it now in real time. He continually, while he interrupts Vito, looks to the other people in the room for validation. Like, yeah, surely I'm the I'm the star of the show, and Vito doesn't do anything right. Guys, looking around the room at other people. That's crazy. That's so insane secure that's great and creating the document and really get making sure the idea is good obsessively rewriting a pitch. document that's totally fine it's like a comic and book adding, that should be out already yeah right <laughs> yeah what's that comic book coming out oh is that what we're talking soon. about uh, point no. is comic book once a month no 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 once a i mean once Ten every years. 18 months <laughs> uh, once every 18 months no, this is a no 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 all i'm saying is that's a great point, by the way. I can't wait for Vito's comic. That will be a hundred percent. I will get my hands on Vito's comic, and I will, I will do a gum riddle. Then I promise you. It's a dodecacentennial comic we go, book. We go into the meeting. We go into the big project meeting, and I go, look, I got all my ducks in a row. Everything's great. That's what they. That's and what they Dick love. Is there just ducks also. in a row? <laughs> you know, Dick is also there. I can't fucking believe you're saying this. <laughs> Occasionally, set. he's like genuinely upset that his talent is not being respected here. That, that you can tell it's getting to him. It's great. It's awesome. Something. You know what? I, okay, okay, okay. You want to talk about it? Okay, so now we're, 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 oh. so we're pitching Brings a fucking show. Like, so we're pitching yeah. a fucking TV show. This is, real, thing, way, this is real, by the way. This is real, by the way. The first thing I fucking say. The first. Okay, listen. Okay, I'm gonna back that up just a little bit. So now he breaks it. Because they were being coy about it before. Now that now that he's he's actually laid it on the table, he is. Dick is trying to pitch this shit you're listening to as a fucking television show to Hollywood producers, and this shame would go completely unbeknownst to the entire world if Vito did not piss him off enough by by decrying his talents in this room in front of the in front of a woman, nonetheless. So he has to clarify and explain the situation because he now wants to make Vito look as shitty as possible. Even if that means showing his own ass a little bit, it's great. Yeah. A fucking TV show. Go this is real, by the way. This is real, by the way. The I first thing we... I fucking say, the woman job jumps on. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I say, let me ask you something. Are those an Vito? Are those anime figurines that Vito has behind him? Would you say those are appropriate for a business meeting? She busts out laughing. I say, <laughs> pitch like, over. I feel like pitch it was... is over. So Vito, they apparently went to a teleconference with like a Hollywood executive to pitch the show. They got they got their foot in the door and they have a Zoom meeting and Vito was sitting there and he's got fucking anime titty things like anime titty vinyls behind him. And Dick is like, what the fuck is this? And he immediately makes a joke about it because it's so awkward that if he didn't address it, it would obviously not fly. Pitch like is over. That's the best you can possibly funny. fucking I feel do. Like it was inappropriate to bring out my anime figurines oh my on the God, call. She's, okay. dying. She's, dying She's, She's dying. She's dying laughing. She's dying fucking laughing. This is he got lucky. He got lucky. You know, he could have been happy because she just realized that the lap she's sitting on belongs to a guy who owns anime vinyls. Oh, oh fuck! I'm and lucky. they would have thought it was unprofessional. Okay, we did not discuss during the pitch that we were gonna start razzing Vito and See, and you know I had a feeling that this was like fake drama because what else do they have to talk about except for Eric Eric July and shit? But look at his face, Dick. Look at his face. Dick is incapable of acting. If he was good at acting, he wouldn't be doing this fucking show. He would actually be successful in L.A. He can't act. This is not this is not an act. This is him actually being offended that this fat pedophile who should count himself lucky to even be sitting in this room with a woman on his lap, all thanks to Dick Masterson, is not is not being grateful for what he's being given. He is actually in complete disbelief that Vito has a fucking thing to say to him that isn't positive. Bullying the co-host, you know, and when wow. I've done all the work to really set this thing up and make sure it works, and I actually understand the premise of the show, and I'm not just sitting around. She doesn't give a fuck about the premise. She the premise is very energy. important. The premise is very now, she important. She goes, oh, I had this hilarious meeting. This guy had anime, sexy anime figures, and the guy was busting his balls. It was fucking great. 
We got to sign the this show. Pitch. The whole pitch was you shitting on me. Best part That's coming up. That's not the show. Okay, the show is supposed to be a back and forth. I think like you not... guys have a different hey, view of the I'm show. Dick. Instant replay. I had anime, had sexy anime figures, and the guy was busting his balls. <laughs> fucking great. We got to sign the this show. Pitch. The whole pitch was you shitting on me. That's not the show. Look at Dick's face after he says, that's not the show. Okay, the show is supposed to be a back and forth. I think like you not... guys have a different hey, view of the I'm show. Dick. And then Annie's ignore has to tell him, no, actually, the show is that he's making fun of you. You're the joke. You sit in that chair because you're a fat, disgusting pedophile, and you exist to heap scorn and ridicule on. And he doesn't get it. Vito actually thinks that he's in a partnership as an equal with Dax. And he, he literally, even now, he doesn't know that he is the joke and he is disposable. Incredible chat. Simply incredible. I'm fun and I'm whatever. And here's my fat by the way, anime. By the way, he's not supposed to say he's not supposed to say he's supposed to say my real name on the pitch. Yeah. Because you know, it's like fucking nobody wants to look up Dick Madge and see what he's up to. So every other time he calls me out, it's real name, Dick. Real name, Dick. I'm like, man, <laughs> just fucking pick what you can't fucking call. Also funny. Uh, Dick is afraid of being called Dick Masterson in front of people who are important to him because they don't want, he doesn't want them to look up the, the cutie shit on the internet. That's awesome. By the way, Dick actually makes a really funny joke here. His complaint is that Vito can't keep his name straight in the, in, in the face of the producers when they're talking to Hollywood to get their pitch out. And Vito complains about it and his snapback is actually hilarious. I mean, by my real name, just fucking use Dick all the time because it seems fucking psychotic. Okay, switch back I'm and sorry. Door. Most people don't have two names. Names, all right, that I have to fucking balance depending on the scenario. No, they really, they don't. Christopher is fuck you. <laughs> At the beginning of this show, because I listened through it to try and find this clip that was being played, um, v they were both complaining that Vito got doxxed. Um, and he has, uh, he has uh, like an arrest record. He's like, I think he's a felon. I'm not sure if he's a felon, but he has an arrest record. And he was like accused, um, by someone who knew him in like high school of being like a gross, creepy, weirdo sex pest. And that's being compiled into a forum thread now. And they were complaining about that. Like, that Josh, he runs the way Noel runs Kiwi farms. Now it's going downhill. It's going downhill. He doesn't know what he's doing anymore. It's it's a really bad thing. I can't believe he's doing that. And they think that they got you, man. It's like, that's really bad. So Dick knows that he's being actively doxxed. And so when Vito says it's hard to keep track of two names and he's already pissed off, he just throws out the fact, oh, yeah, by the way, your real name's Christopher. And the Kiwi Farms has it right. Just like immediately confirms that just as a fuck you. And all Vito can say is fuck you as because it's, it, it's actually a great clap back. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Point is, sometimes you go into a project and you really take it seriously, and there's another guy who's you there also. You think you did more work? I think I really. I your, think I put your that. Your treatment is fucking the way you rewrote that everything, is including what Randy already wrote, is fucking insane. I Rito, just made it better. You know what? Uh, send me the. Okay, okay. You're here. You're how? Okay, so this is this is phase two. Dick has announced that he they had a pitch. They had it professionally written. They published it. But before they um before they pitched it out to executives, Vito touched it up. And he's saying, I actually did write a lot to this. I added a lot to this pitch. Um, I'm very proud of it. I think that my writing benefited the work. And now Dick is like properly fuck you. So uh he's gonna this is okay. great. Sure. Right. Send me the send me the fucking thing. Okay. Uh, send me the thing. I want you to see the picture. Do you want the, it right the, now? The yeah, send it to me yeah, right now. I look at it on yeah. I want you to see the half page picture oh, that Vito wanted yeah, us. By the way, look at all the guest face. The only person who has anything to add to this personal conflict between them is uh Andy, because he knows about Hollywood. He can chime in. The black guy with the alien wear hat, not a fucking thing to say. I mean, maybe it might be Mexican. I don't know what he is. And then this woman, look at this woman's face. This is the face of a woman who wishes she could fucking snap out of this this room. Just like teleport to any place else on Earth. You snap your fingers, you teleport to any random GPS on the planet. She would do it. She would take that opportunity to escape this, this sex dungeon that she's found herself in. Surrounded by all these fat, greasy retards yelling at each other about nothing. To lead the, the treatment with. 
half the fucking page, okay? Mine had no pictures in it. It was just a normal writing document where you use your imagination. They see should what the show see is about. the hosts of the show. They should know what we look like. I mean, that face said everything, Andy. Yeah, I mean, aren't who? Sorry, I need Andy to know agrees with me. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna email it to him so he can put it up. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody? Let everybody see it. You're gonna show everybody? Sure. Yeah. It's okay. uh, just a picture. Hold on. Oh, okay. I thought it was the pitch doc. Two dick. And for those that are confused, they really did do this. Yeah, I I love that. And then he confirms because again, there's a little bit of a doubt. This is like way too funny to be on Dick's show. Is this like a bit that they're doing? And he's like, no, actually, they are trying to, to try to sell this to fucking television. Pitched a TV show, and Dick was there. <laughs> <laughs> you should actually really be saying his real name there, but okay. <laughs> I wish. I honestly wish that we had it recorded so we could see when the laughs you came. You didn't record it. You should no. have had this on your notes memo. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. If you don't know, um, when you do a Hollywood like. Sc- Screenplays and pitches are usually done in a very specific autistic, like kind of like a legal document. There's like a, a, an accepted format for a legal document, and they generally don't include pictures. Um, screenplays and pitches are generally the same, or they have a very strict format that's accepted, and you're not supposed to, to artistically improve on it with photos and, and special shit like that. So the fact that he tried to break the pitch at all is unprofessional because i'm sure a lot of guys trying to pitch shit will try to throw in pictures and it'll be like a immediate giveaway that this person lacks confidence in their writing and it would be thrown out by anybody i think dick actually pulled this picture up but when they show it on screen it's it's great voice memo <laughs> you got laughs for your little also he's fat like yeah we know i got laughs on did the you, pitch. you really do the also he's fat <laughs> yeah like basically no i never said i would never do that but like the whole idea was <laughs> like, i don't believe you look at his anime figures <laughs> look at this moron why do you have sexy anime figures on a fucking Whatever. business call anyway that's a great you thing that'd be better than her singing on her own Shut the fuck up. and then i said <laughs> And then I said, he said you weren't going to notice, but I said she's definitely going to notice, so I've had her call it out for, like, it's a whole fucking, it was he a good thinks bit. it's accidental. That was a good bit. You're being harsh on dick. That was a good bit. Oh, look, it's fu- it's great that she laughed. Okay, before, this is the, this If look. she doesn't laugh at that, she's going to laugh at, dude, that's what you two are. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that picture. This was is the picture you wanted to, to put? Funny? No, it's just like illustrating what the show would. Why do we need to see that picture? Look like. It looks like a fucking construction show, yeah, bro. What the okay, fuck why is this would show? this be the top? How are they going to print this out? In black and white. Why would they print out a fucking I don't even picture know if of us? Why would they even print it out? They would probably just send the PDF uh, that's around. That's a terrible photo. I oh, mean, whatever. What it's is fine. Going, what am I looking at? That, I know. I'm so confused by it. Okay, well, we didn't have to. Check it. If you're only listening, let, um, I, number one, I apologize. Number two, uh, let me describe this. You have. Uh, it's sort of, it's a stock photo of two guys. Um, they are back to back. One of them is fat. One of them is not. They're, they're, it's kind of like a stock photo of like two greasy Italian men in like plumbing overalls. And they're holding power tools. Vito has photoshopped his face and Dick's face onto the stock photo of the two plumbing guys and slapped the logo of the biggest problem in the universe. There are multiple explanations of to what the fuck this is. I have, if you look at this, you have literally no clue of what the biggest problem in the universe is um, based on this image. And this is what he wanted people to see front and center when he sent them their pitch is the worst fucking image that you've ever seen ever. Um, so Dick, I think that the explanation is that Dick pulled this out before he sent it. Cause it's, it's hideous. Um, but he didn't undo the rest of Vito's changes, which he's very proud of, and is telling Dick that he didn't do enough work on the project. Because Vito's contributions to the project were shit like this, where uh, it, it obviously is fucking atrocious. Use that picture specifically. But, but that was sh- the picture you just sent. You that was show. what you sent. I sent Randy a treatment that was all text. It was fucking tight and perfect. And then I fixed it because it was not tight And then or you, perfect. for some reason, spent you spent <laughs> hours retyping it. To it, make it, it good. Because <laughs> it was bad. Okay, this this requires explanation too. Dick is going to get actually offended here. Because, if you don't know, his entire career is contingent on the fact that when a long time ago, he wrote a book called Men Are Better Than Women. 
and because it was in the 2000s, it, it hit a chord in pop culture. It offended the right people, and it got him on Dr. Phil, where he was able to do a little bit of uh, of a stunt with Dr. Phil. And that that is the foundation of his entire career is his writing. And this fat, schlubby pedophile is telling him to his fucking face that he doesn't know how to write. And he is about to get actually mad. Because is this because home, I can't write? Is, this right? is that what you're saying? You can write. You can write. But I didn't write then, He's or you're not just better. as good a writer. <laughs> As me. Oh, okay, and that's fine. I can't wait till your comic comes out. I'm gonna tell everybody exactly what's fucking Good. wrong with I it for seventy you grand. It. I hope you review my comic because <laughs> you know what? You're gonna read it. And you go, ah, oh, man, what this is... guy really understands story structure. What the fuck show is this? It's this the is... biggest problem in the universe. It TV looks show. like a Cheech and Chong a... sequel. <laughs> it looks like it's... tool time. Do you want people, ma- Andy? You're in Holly. Do you do you want people making fun of your treatment? No, this looks like I don't know what so this I is. So I took the picture out. I'm not even arguing for the picture. I just said, look, I made like a little thing. Is it good? Why? He said no. Dick's no. Head so small. Well, because I had to find a picture of two guys who kind of look like us. Because how, how many pictures are it's there of a guy? Why did you want to do that? Why? To, to illustrate the what? concept of the show. Are we allowed to know the concept? Well, part of the concept is that Bits. we're like Bits, yeah, but like. Sorry, let's take a second to look at that woman's face. This is a look at that woman's face break for the for this video. The blue camera collar aspect. Nathan, for you. It's just bits and it's comedy. Oh, it's a fucking no, comedy you know, show, like the you. man show. Do you know when I look at that picture? Shut up about the fucking I think picture. The picture is not important. You put it, you put it on the, <laughs> above the fold, bro. This is the entire pitch. You did that. You know, we you know, never sent this picture to anyone because it, I said it fucking don't do it. Look at her trying to look at look at her face of exasperation as she tries to get a word in edgewise and this this uh, this fest of retards and they just keep. <laughs> Okay, and I collaborate with my collaborators. <laughs> no, you don't. As you just as you push everything go, fucking through. Hey, that idea is dog shit. Why don't we come up with a good premise? And you go, no, nah, I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let it go. Isn't that good when a pitch is fine? Um, you know, it's the like, best pitch. You know, like when I look at that picture, yeah. if I didn't actually know you guys, I'd think that it was like some kind of DIY show. <laughs> yeah. Which like the fine. biggest problem in the universe I is that it. like my, We're gonna show up to my house living room is fucked, so these two jokers are gonna come and fix my shit. I don't know. It just looks like a DIY show to me. Or a 1990s Mario Brother movie. <laughs> I think the- Thank you, Mexican man. That's the first time he's spoken in the last 10 minutes. Literally the first time he's spoken. <laughs> With Honestly, the overalls, right? It's a prequel. I think the picture is fun. I think it's fun. I think but people- you would put this on a... Uh, you would put this on a legit treatment, and to. then you said uh, Tony from Hack the Movies put pictures in his. Tony from I said, how many fucking shows has he sold? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> how many shows did you sell? Two. Yeah, how, how many made it production? Uh, okay, bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Dick, the beginning of the end is there. Okay, you wanna you wanna fuck with my treatment? Fine. You wanna fuck with my pitch? Fine. You're a fat retard. I can understand that. You're gonna insult my writing. That's not fine. You're gonna make fun of the fact that I've been in Hollywood for thirty five fucking years, my entire life, and I've sold zero or uh, zero of your productions. I've made it or zero of your scripts. I made it into production. You know, point out the fact that I, uh, I'm a Hollywood failure, a walking zombie like all the other Hollywood failures. That's uh, that's not fine, Vito. <laughs> both of them, but okay. both of them did not get series all pickups. Right. Dude, he had that in him for a long time, let me tell you. <laughs> He's been <laughs> <old. That's exactly laughs> a lot of work in with Maddox's big song. You know what? Maddox didn't turn into an asshole until after we sold all the show. All right, all right, look. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm get, not, I'm get not, the timeline right, I'm not okay? being an asshole. I'm just saying. You said you did all the work on well, the group project. This the is work. the work. <laughs> yeah, you get all the There's credit for stuff. that. I That's think not I only part of the pitch. There's other parts of the pitch. What other work? There's a whole bunch this of shit. The There's work? a bunch of writing. Not uh, that's an old document. The, this was a part of your this work. This was part of my work. Was your Photoshop work on this? Did a little Photoshop. The rest of the work though is amazing. What the fuck? That's not a problem, Vito. And yeah. I came to and I came to Dick and I said, "Hey, I got a concept for the show, so it's basically like my idea, <laughs> you know." But I wanted to bring him along. I, I thought he would contribute. 
you know, he did a little bit of help, but ultimately, <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to take the wheel and drive. And that's what I had to do here. And uh, we'll I see. You know what? I almost didn't say anything and say, you know, I let that picture on. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it on. I think it's funny. Go yeah, for it. It is kind of funny. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, okay. if any of you. So uh, for everybody listening, the biggest problem TV show is off to a fantastic start. We should put both. We should put the treatment side by side. I'd be happy to put the treatment side by side because everyone's going to say mine is better. Huh. Look at that face. That's like, after 10, 13 minutes of being barraged by constant noise, Vito says, my writing is better than yours. And there are two glorious seconds of absolute silence in that room. You really appreciate the silence when it's not there for so long, chat. Really start to appreciate it. All right. I will end it there. You have been excused. Uh, excellent. Wonderful. I uh, can't wait to see how this concludes. I'm sure it will end amicably. There will be no hurt feelings and nobody will be eating shit. Nobody will be blowing their brains up by the end of this. Um, let's see. Is there anything I want to add to this? Oh, this. Oh, God. I feel kind of bad. Okay, let's split this up, actually. I'll play the, I don't want to subject you guys to three more minutes of dick. Now, this is what I was talking about with him, like, crying about the forum. But I'll uh, bring this up. I, I showed you guys, um, or talked about Mint Salad before, the retarded woman that Dick told to leave her family so that he could pimp her out to Riley, um, who is now the guy that showed up at Air. Oh, God, I can't even... It doesn't even make sense until I've talked about the next segment. Uh, she went viral. She decided to put on a skimpy tank top and scream about Star Wars for 30 seconds. And this video got like 30 million views on Twitter. I'll, I'll tone this down. Star Wars fucking sucks right now. I fucking hate it. First of all, why is there even an Ahsoka? I saw a little bit fucking. That's the entire thing. It's two minutes of her screaming. This video got 30 million views. It went very viral on Twitter. Imagine why. And then she was invited on. Here she is on Simpcast 94 with uh, Chrissy Meyer. Interesting chat. Uh, Riley has a... Okay, so let, let me straighten this out. Riley was the producer for The Dick Show. Riley recently had a thing with Eric July. Dick knows Nick Ricada, who also knows Eric July. Riley knows Mint Salad. Uh, Nick Ricada knows Chrissy Meyer. Chris Mintella does the thing. He sh she shows up on Chrissy Meyer's show, who Nick Ricada knows, who Dick knows. Hollywood really is a small place after all, chat, isn't it? Fascinating how those things play out. Okay, back to to Dick Spurging. Now, this is him crying. This is him exercising uh, his demons, his true thoughts about the Kiwi Farms and how how um. How terrible things have gone under my my direction, my failure to, to lead my community. Let's listen. Redundance of my this is Eric July talking to intestinal tract. <laughs> Nick Nikita. Because to preclude on the issue of world domination. Does that work? No, it doesn't really work in an audio format, does it? Well, you uh, can't see Eric July talking, but yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a good bit. Just imagine it's it matches bit. up perfectly. Yeah. <clears throat> when I'm uh, pontificating on the uh, Sarsaparilla. Yeah, his uh, album art has gone down tremendously because, like, all the good artists don't. Like, even in his... Uh, hold up, let me pull up something real quick. I'll let this play, but even in his thumbnail, he's doing the yak, 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 yak thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then Noel was speculating on how we would pay for our lawyers and how Dick was going to fuck me over yeah. and all this other shit. And I'm like, something's it's wrong with Null. Like he even he's retells he retells stories and he doesn't have any of the facts correct. Yeah. Dude, he's like, yeah, just he used to be really sharp and on top of and like just like say facts that he was. But now he just he thinks seems everything to is a reference to him and things he's doing, which is like actually schizophrenic. Where he's like, oh, Eric July made the promo code pull up. That's a reference to the time I told Nick Ricada to pull up on me. And it's like. No, it's not. No, no. it's a black you're reference. You're fucking yeah. crazy. And you're nuts. You gotta let that site. He's gotta let that site go. Kiwi Farms is do is done. He needs to get a girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Step one. When 
It's true. I did say that. I said Eric July. I actually, but I did not say that definitively. I said that's where the pull up, the code is pull up because that's like a Nick Ricada joke that I made. Is that like a reference to that? And no, it wasn't. And chat corrected me, and they said, I believe I corrected myself on air. I said that it was a reference to him telling Dick to pull up. This is actually I, I even talked about this. I said that he told Dick to pull up. And then Dick said something like, pull up. You have to explain what that means because I don't speak abonics. Like, I, I think I clarified the whole thing on stream. But they, out of all the things I say about him, getting fucked in the ass, being a fucking loser, fucking with a black guy for literally no reason other than the fact that he's jealous of, like, I guess that this guy is making money and he isn't. Like, I, I really, I'll, I'll get into that in a second. But I, out of all the things I said, to recap on the fact that I thought the promo code was a Nick Ricada thing and not a Dick Masterson thing. I guess that took offended his ego that I thought it was about me and not him. And he's like, oh, he's schizophrenic now. Okay, buddy. I he needs to stop seeking out father figures and become the strong male figure, which he so desires in his own life. He needs to become that strong man. But I don't know, man. He just keeps desperately latching onto fake father figures, yep. and then they have some minor thing where it's like, yeah, my co-host fucks women, and he's like, oh, my dad! Oh, oh, my God. God. Yeah. And you're like, no, dude, calm the fuck down. Oh. Jesus well, Christ. All- Number one, that's retarded. Number two, the minor thing that I got upset with Dick for was that he was, like, in bed with a pedophile who uh, says that he likes the idea of little girls getting fucked, and his co-host told me to fuck off. That was my issue with him. Uh, my issue with Rakeda is that he's like a, a shit spigot alcoholic who doesn't make any sense anymore and constantly picks fight for no fucking reason. And then gets up, like, constantly makes a fool of himself. And then I have to eat shit for it because I'm associated with him. And he's just like a constant embarrassment. He called, I, I am Satan. I am the walking embodiment of digital Satan on this fucking earth. I am accused of murder. I am accused of murder. People call me a pedophile. And... Me being next to Rakeda gives me secondhand embarrassment. That is the issue. It's not that I uh, I'm upset that that E Daddy is going out and getting his asshole filled by black men in Jamaica. It's that you're causing me secondhand embarrassment by knowing you. That's the problem. Also, he and, or you're defending pedophiles again. Made that big deal about making like a thread on you. Yeah. And then they found that you got arrested for trying to run over a cop, which is like awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then that, and then he was also accused of sexual misconduct. But he, again, he very selective about what he talks about. You like go by your middle name. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you guys just, you look like. And then they, fucking, and then they you weirdly look post. Very weak. Dude, it's so weird because then they post, we've completely destroyed him. And I'm like, wait, how? What do you mean? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> yeah. You found my arrest record you from made, three like, years ago, which I already talked. Then they went, they're like, he's been hiding this for so long. He must be devastated. And then one of them goes, that your I found name when he posted exists. about it on Patreon three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, literally yeah, three yeah, years ago yeah, on Patreon, yeah. he told his uh, supporters what happened. So, never mind. I guess he wasn't hiding it at all. Uh, those guys, were they were fun when they, like, cataloged, like, things that were like, actually like, retarded. The insane Best people part. were doing. He was perfectly okay with everything about the Kiwi Farms for years. He helped bankroll it for years when it was Maddox. When it was Maddox and when it was Asterius Kokonos and when it was other people that he didn't like. And people are making fun of them. It was okay. But the second that that fucking leaks come out from that woman, and we have emails of his uh, his girlfriend and this third woman talking about how he likes to get fucked in the ass and dress as a cow, and how uh, she's resentful for her, for him wasting her entire life. And people start calling him Juju the Cow, and he gets upset about this. It's mismanaged. And the site takes itself too seriously. We get facts wrong. It's, it's like no, buddy. This is exactly what happened with, with Maddox. This is exactly what you did with Maddox and Eric July, and continue to do and have done for years and years. Almost like what? Ten, how long ago was the lawsuit? Like eight years ago. It's been a while. Uh, you, you just don't like it when it's you. That's the difference. And uh, I don't know if he doesn't get that or. If he has to like psychologically cope about that, because I I I I don't know how he doesn't get it. They're no. funny, but when they started going after like e celebrities, e celebrities. Okay, that's the thing. That was the thing on the forum itself. How do you delineate 
between a true locale and an e just an e-celebrity? How do you delineate between just regular drama and like locale drama? You don't. That's the conclusion that I came up to. If someone has drama and people want to talk about it, they have a space for it on the forum. And he's trying to delineate, like, to say, no, Maddox, now that's not internet drama. That's uh, that's a locale. Me and Vito, nah, buddy, we're actually e -celebs. We're real e -celebs and uh, we deserve better than what you're doing to us, actually. Yeah. Uh... They're going through my high school blog and being like, this is really cringe. And I'm like, yeah, I wrote it in high school. <laughs> 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 no shit, you dumb motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> like you can read, you can read it. Like yeah. I think it's funny. I'm like, yeah, that is I stupid. Mean, I'm sure. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Well, weren't they, weren't they like, oh my god, he's talking about Lolly, and it's just you saying, ew, it's gross. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. 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 A bunch of posts from like, hey, look at what Japanese people are into. They're fucking weird. And like, see, he <laughs> likes Lolly. Oh yeah, that's that. Like, what? That's me specifically saying I think Lolly's <laughs> fucked up. What we are you got talking him. about? We got him. Yeah, they really. It nailed wasn't Lollicon though. Uh, he was posting like Shotokan on his blog or some shit. I don't know. I didn't. I haven't read through it yet. I'm saving that for a rainy day. Um, but it was some weird shit like that. I don't know if that is exactly true. I'll, re I'll refrain. But uh, given his, it, it, it is strange though that this guy, who um, has been friends with Max Carson, an actual pedophile, who comes out and says that he's a pedophile and defends child pornography and talks about being a pedophile and how he's attracted to twelve year olds and leotards. Uh, Max Carson is uh, high school friends with uh, Vito. And Vito, around the same time that he met Max Carson, was also uh, hosting a blog where he talked about Shotokan and Lollicon. And he's been talking about child pornography, I guess, basically for the last 10 years. And that's just this whole thing. More than that, how long ago was his high school? I think he's older than me, right? I would hope so, because he looks worse. Uh, so he's been at this for a while. And uh, he kind of brushes over that. Really does get the noggin jogging. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.